Hello everyone. We will continue that topic views. And we will start with our third type of view that is our maintenance view. And we have an important point in maintenance view. I will give some name to the maintenance view. And I will click on the create button. Maintenance view. I will give the short description for which purpose I am creating a maintenance view. Maintenance view for order details. Now I will pass my order header table. And I will click on relationships button. And see my item table is coming but i am also getting a message relationship with unsuitable cardinality now if we remembered what is the relationship between order header and order item table it is one is to many the relationship between both the table is one is to many so for one order number of order header table we have multiple records in the order item table. If I will show you how we assign the relationship between both the tables. If I will show you the second table. The cardinality between both the tables is one is too many. One is too many. Now the important point for the maintenance view and help view is not more than one record should go to dependent or secondary table. In this case, what is happening? If we are taking the header table, more than one record is going to the item table or dependent table. It is your secondary table or it is your foreign key table also. But what is the prerequisite for maintenance view? Not more than one record should exist in the dependent or the secondary table. So in this case, it will not allow me to create a maintenance view because whenever I'm passing the header table and whenever I'm clicking on the relationship button, button the cardinality between both the tables is one is two and many so the prerequisite is only one record should go to the dependent or the secondary table for a particular combination so to understand the practical part of maintenance view we will create two more tables first table will be project details one table and second table will be project details two table and then we will create a maintenance view with the help of these two tables will pass the suitable cardinality and we will do the practical of maintenance view now whenever we want to create the table the first thing we have to create the domains and data elements. Now we will see. Project number numeric 8. We will create a new domain because we have not created any domain of numeric 8 so far. We created for numeric 10 that is of order number. Numeric 10 order number. We will create, we will not create a new domain for project description because we already have a domain of character 40 that is of your order description. We can use the same domain because technical characteristics are same. We will not create a new, <coughs> new domain for project location because we already created that domain for delivery location. We will use the same domain. So I will use I will only create a new domain for project number 
Now, how many data elements? I will create three data elements. One for project number, one for project description, one for project location. Because as of now, these three are totally, totally new descriptions. So I will create one new domain and three new data elements. And why we are creating this? Because we want to create these two tables so that we can understand the practical part of maintenance view. So I will create a domain first. I'll go to SC11. I will create a domain for project number. First, suppose first create project number. I will create some new domain. It's already exist, so I will just delete this one and I will create it again. Okay, I will give some new name. Suppose domain for project number and I will give some serial number. Create project number. It is of numeric eight. I will save this domain. I'll check the syntax and activate this domain. I will note down this domain. Now I will create three data elements. First for project number, create data element, project number, I'll pass that domain, which I created for project number. We have to give the field labels for data elements, project number. Here I will pass full project number. Project number, project. I'm activating this data element. I will note down this data element. Now I will create another data element for project description. Create data element project description. Now I have not created a new domain for project description. I will use the existing domain for, I'll say, order description. Character 40 automatically appeared. Now I will give the field labels. Proj description. Here I will pass full project description. Enter. I will save this data element. I'll check the syntax and I'm activating the data element. Now I will create third data element for project location. Create data element project location here i will pass the domain for the uh, delivery location itself because technical characteristics are same i will pass the field later project location here I will pass full project location. Here I will pass full project location. Enter. I'll save this data element. I'll check the syntax and activate the data element. So what we learned in this particular video, 
we tried to create a maintenance view for order header and order item table, but we are unable to create because the cardinality is one is too many. So the prerequisite is only one record should go to the dependent or secondary table. We cannot put more than one record to the dependent or secondary table with the help of maintenance view. So we started creating the two new tables so that we can achieve the practical of maintenance view. Rest part will continue in the next video. Thank you.